devastated huge areas of the Philippines and it's now battering northern Vietnam. It weakened to a severe tropical storm before it made landfall, but winds are still gusting at more than 150 kilometers an hour. Well, over in the Philippines, the aid operation has been hampered by bad weather. Millions of people have been affected and relief workers are struggling to get supplies into the worst hit areas. Well, the exact number of dead is still unknown, but it's believed that more than 10,000 residents died in the city of Tacloban alone. It flattened flimsy homes as well as sturdier buildings. Many people would have been killed by collapsing walls or flying debris. Even evacuation centers are reported to have been severely damaged. But the wind also created a storm surge with powerful waves sweeping across the islands. A huge number of victims drowned. When the water receded, it left behind evidence of its force. The province of Leyte and its capital, Tacloban, appears to have been the worst hit. We have an estimate given on the casualties, more or less 10,000, according to this report. For the, whole For the whole province of Leyte. What to do with the dead is one problem, but how to help the living is more urgent. No food, no power, no shelter. Several million people desperately in need of help. One of the worst hit areas was the coastal city of Tacloban, about 600 kilometers southeast of Manila. Typhoon Haiyan tore through it, destroying everything in its path. Most of the deaths are believed to have been caused by surging seawater, described as similar to a tsunami. President Aquino visited the city of Tacloban, one of the areas hardest hit by Typhoon Haiyan. He said the government's priority was to restore power in isolated areas to ease the relief effort. What we are addressing first the needs of those who are still living, especially those who are injured, the need for food and the need for water. Aquino said the death toll will be substantially more than the current official count. Local officials in Lete province fear the figure could be as high as 10,000. Police said up to 80% of the area in the storm's path was destroyed on the island. Most of the casualties were from people drowning or being crushed by falling buildings. Typhoon Haiyan, one of the most powerful storms on record to make landfall, had sustained winds of at least 235 kilometers an hour and waves 15 meters high. The Japanese government has decided to send an emergency relief team. The team will mainly provide medical support in disaster areas. It will depart as early as Monday. The government has already sent diplomats and officials to the country in an effort to assess what is needed in the devastated areas. The United States is dispatching its military forces to take part in search and relief operations in response to a request from the Philippine government. The British government says it will provide relief supplies worth about 10 million million dollars. The EU's executive arm, the European Commission, offered four million dollars in assistance. The United States government, first of all, is going to is going to respond to this crisis. It's not just going to be the Marines, but the Marines will be uh, the forward edge, edge of this. I brought my uh, my contingency command post down here. Uh, we're working hand in hand with the Philippines, both of the, their armed forces and the national police, and uh, we will help them in their need. Uh, we have airplanes uh, standing by, we have logistics assets standing by, uh, we're working closely with international uh, relief organizations, we're working with the United States uh, Agency for International Development, so there's a lot that we can do. We're going to be seeing more, um, yes. uh, more airplanes coming in today? And on the leading edge of it. So you'll start seeing more Marines landing uh, probably within a uh, few hours. People have been streaming into the airport here in Tacloban City on Monday as those military flights uh, from areas such as the capital Manila have resumed those flights bringing in crucial aid for the people here who have been so badly affected by that huge storm that has left uh, this city, this entire area in tatters. So the people have been coming here uh, since first light trying to get their hands on those items, food, water, hopefully also some 
uh, something that they can use to build a shelter because most buildings in Takloban were either completely destroyed by the storm or substantially damaged. Uh, but a lot of the people who have been coming here also want to leave. Their homes have been uh, either destroyed or damaged and they really want to get out of this area because there is nothing here for them at the moment. So those flights, those military flights have been taking people away as well, either to nearby Cebu or to the uh, capital city, Manila.